I'm Dina Peterson, and I've been an artist for probably, gosh, 25 to 30 years. I'm an oil painter predominantly, although I do explore other media now and again. I was one of the artists chosen to work on the film Loving Vincent. So that was a real um, door opener for me. That was, that was pretty cool that I got to do that. I am trying to be a full-time artist at this point in my life. Working on the movie Loving Vincent was incredible. The work for that film was unlike anything I've ever done before. There wasn't really art or artists in my family. You know, I grew up in kind of a lower middle class home. My mom was a teacher, my dad was a telephone repairman. And it's funny, as soon as I got the chance to see art, I fell in love with it. I, I had to I had to paint, I had to create art. I couldn't not do it. So, you know, eventually I just started doing it more and more. And now um, I feel lucky because I think art is one of those things you just, you just have to find a way to do it. You know, I just started teaching my very first online class and I'm excited because teaching online is actually something I wanted to do for years anyway. I'm teaching a class called Beyond Reality. This is a class all about how to kind of take your work maybe to a, a different level. I tend to like more organic qualities in my work and not so much like geometric stuff. Um, I'm constantly looking at other artists, whether contemporary or artists from history. Right now on my easel is a large commission. It's really cool. I, I got uh, contacted by this couple to do a painting of this venue that they love and they want it to be in the style of Van Gogh. You know, thick, fun, passionate brushwork. You know, she's really cool with lots of color and um, so I'm kind of using that style in a scene that it means a lot to this couple. So that's what I'm working on now. I have within this past year, I have really decided to have studio hours. I will go down to my studio. I always have a thermos of coffee. <laughs> and I have this old upholstered used chair that's red and I call it my red chair. I get myself comfortable in my red chair with my coffee. Usually my little rat terrier is on my lap and I just kind of sit there and kind of get inspired and think about what I wanna do for the day. There are days when you just don't really know what you wanna do or inspiration just doesn't hit you. And usually if I sit there long enough in my red chair, I'll find something that I wanna play with or that I wanna do, or you know, <clears throat> I'll just do some thumbnail sketches or something, or I'll sit there and look through my art books. So I usually do that for about a half hour, drink my coffee, and then I get up and I'm, I'm doing stuff. I'm either starting a new painting or finishing one that's on the easel. Um, recently I've been experimenting with um, cold wax medium and mixing that with my oils and doing some non-representational work. That's been really good for me. It's really um, been freeing me and getting me more excited about painting again. The idea of finding who you are and finding your voice as an artist never stops. So that is something, especially in the past couple of years that I've been really struggling with. You know, I think it started with working on the film and Van Gogh and studying him and his life and how he was so determined to learn to paint. So the thing is to, to not pigeonhole yourself too soon. Always be open to exploration, but give yourself permission to, to play and experiment and figure out who you are. Um, I'm still doing that and I'm 57. And especially during a class, I, I always say, you know, this is a place that's safe to experiment and explore and push your boundaries. I spent many years learning how to reproduce what I'm seeing, whether it's a model, a still life, the landscape, which is probably my favorite thing and still inspires me. But my point has always been as an artist, what can I say with this that's more than just what I see? 